It's one of the nightmares of modern living. We never seem to have enough time to do things. Never enough time sometimes to even program the video so we can watch programs scheduled for one time at a different, more convenient time. TiVo, launched just four months ago, was meant to save us time by automatically sifting through the schedules, picking out our favourite programmes and recording them onto hard disk, which is fine if the magic box gets the time of the programmes right. But John Cullors discovered that sometimes TiVo gets it wrong. If you don't have the right schedule, you might miss something important. Like a flight or your favourite television programme, both of these are important to me. I work at Heathrow and this is me in the BBC series Airport. All right, OK. I bought the latest in personal video recorder technology, TiVo, to help me record it. I pay £10 a month for my TiVo on-screen listings guide. It's updated each day via the telephone. It's supposed to make programming simple. Well, programming is simple, just point and click. But it's not much good if the listings are wrong. The problem started when TiVo recorded the UEFA Cup, which was a bit odd because it should have been looking for an episode of the all-important airport. Again, on the 5th of March, Teletext, the Radio Times website and the On Digital Programme Guide all reflected a change in Channel 4's schedule, but TiVo still showed the original incorrect information. Crufts and the Cheltenham Racing Festival were cancelled, but TiVo still had them listed. I believe we miss less than 0.1% of programmes, but we will miss some very last-minute uh, scheduling changes. What's the point of me paying £10 a month for schedules that aren't kept up to date? Well, it's not a listing service. So what the unit's meant to do is to create this personal television experience for you. We take information from the broadcasters and we have to add an awful lot of information to add the intelligence so that we can teach it to record the stuff that you like or the stuff that you've asked it to record. This means there's an implicit delay in the time that the information gets to us and by the time it reaches you. Ten pounds a month could buy me lots of listings magazines, but I bought TiVo to take the hassle out of programming. The new series of airports starts soon and I don't want to wait any longer for this service to take off. That's it for Right to Reply. Until the same time next week. Good night. Exercise your right to reply by ringing us on 0870 504 4444. Emailing us on r2r at channel4.com or writing to Right to Reply, Channel 4 Television, Horse Ferry Road, London SW1P2TX.